Welcome to Arium's UEFI debugging presentation. This presentation is going to go through board reset into PIM, all the way through DXC, and eventually into some PCI hot plug code. So here we are, we're going to do a board reset. This is using the source point debugger on the ECM XDP3 JTAG debugger. Notice in the right hand corner there that red, what this is doing is tracking the state of the target. There's a management engine on this target, so it cycles power. We'll do a run, and here we set a breakpoint at PEI main. This is the entry into PIM. We'll go ahead and uh, open up a trace window. This is showing code execution from reset all the way into PIM. So this is a very, very early high memory code executing out of reset. Do another go and this is a platform controller hub initialization routine. We've traced a whole bunch of code here. This is all code execution. What I'll do is go in the trace window, open a code window, and that little hand is showing us tracking the code in the trace with the source code. So this is very good for looking at trace in source code context. We'll close that and look at the stack. This is the different parameters that was passed to the routine. Of course, you can edit all of these. Disable those breakpoints and we'll just run into DXE. And here we are into DXE main. And we'll go through and now let's open up the registers and we'll view the e-flags. You can expand these and set the individual bits. Notice in the left hand corner here, this is a, a way to select the view from different processors. Go back to our boot processor. We'll set a breakpoint into a hot plug routine into DXE. Here we hit that breakpoint. You can change the display and look at a mixed mode. This is very good for looking at com compiler optimization and of course getting down into individual instructions. Let's run through some of this code. I'll do a go cursor to this point and I'm going to add this install protocol interface into a watch window. Of course, this is very helpful for looking at data structures while you're stepping through code. Well, since we're in a PCI routine, we'll open up a PCI device window. This scans the PCI buses, shows all the devices out there, and you can select individual ones and look at them in different formats. Of course, you can uh, edit these fields as well. This has been a presentation of the Arium UEFI debug solution. For more information, visit arium.com.